hi guys in the previous video i saw you how we can use firebase authentication to allow user to sign in with a email and a password so in this video we are going to see how we can create the register activity that allowing user to create an account so i'm going to uh, right click on our application here click new and select uh, something like empty activity then I can rename this activity name to register activity okay so uh, we can click finish now I'm going to open my activity main which is the login activity then copy everything inside this layout so I will copy this linear layout in the activity register I will go to split mode then change this root layout to relative layout okay now in the relative layout we can paste that linear layout now we can go ahead and remove this login button because this activity is for registration so I am going to change this text to something like create account and we can extract that to strings.xml right click on it then click show context actions click extract string resource okay now we have that string inside this strings.xml file now everything is fine go to the top and I'm going to change this text into create your account today I'm going to extract that to my strings.xml file also fine now in the top I can add another text to you and mention the application name we can access application name by saying at string for slash app underscore name which is this application name okay so now we have to remove this margin top fine and I'm going to increase this text size a little bit up to 3 uh, 30 great now I'm going to change this identifier of our email edit text you can change that here edit email sign up and also ID of our password edit password sign up the final thing here uh, btn create account it will be the id now we can open register activity.java i am going to create variables now let's say a private button so a variable name will be btn create okay and our edit text you can say private edit text a variable name for the first edit text let's say edit uh, email register and edit password register okay so I added this register because we are in the register activity and we will handle these two edit text for the email and the edit text for the password so in the upgrade method I'm going to set edit email register is equals to find by id in the parenthesis I can say r dot id dot edit uh, email sign up is the id and 
let's use the password edit password register set that equals to find me by id in the parenthesis r.id dot edit password sign up okay so let's say btn create is equals to find me by id in the parenthesis r.id dot btn uh, create account that's the id of our create account button here yeah, we change that to btn create account now i'm going to say btn create dot set on click lister in the parenthesis once you type new and letter o you will get this suggested click it so it will be generated for you now I'm going to create a new variable as a Firebase auth type Firebase auth and the variable name for that as mauth. Now in the onCreate I will say mauth is equals to Firebase auth dot get instance fine. Now in this onCreate I'm going to say mauth before that uh, let's take our variables so let's copy these code firstly we are taking uh, this email and password from our edit text email and edit text password and we are checking whether if one variable is empty or null then this no empty field allowed message will be displayed so everything uh, contains values so this else statement will be executed so we can copy this one and paste that in our register uh, button now instead uh, setting email is equals to edit text email which is the variable name in the logging activity i can say edit email register is the variable name that we declared here and password edit password register this one okay now we are checking with the email this is string and this is string is null or is empty if one variable is empty this message will be displayed no empty field allowed so current context is not main activity but register activity now in the lc statement we can create the account we can say a moth dot uh, create user with email and password now in the parentheses you have to provide the email which is this email declared there and the password now how we can identify this process this task is completed correctly or incorrectly or fail so we can add these uh, add on complete listener and add on uh, failure listener add on success listener but when we add this add on complete listener we can use that to identify whether task is completed successfully or not type add on complete listener in the parentheses i'm going to type new and you will get this suggested once you type letter o so select on complete listener so it will be generated for you okay now i'm going to say if in the if statement we can check if tax is successful so we can uh, show a message registration is completed 
in the else statement I can show a message the registration is fail so guys once user is registered they will sign in also automatically so you will able to access their information by saying mmoth dot get current user and we have various options like get email and get uid okay so that's available inside this firebase auth now we can show that here if needed we are going to concatenate that's fine and let's run this out okay our application is running and uh, I have to link this register button to our register activity this register button is in our login activity so I'm going to open my main activity and access btn register so currently let's oh yeah it is btn sign up once user click on that register button we have to open our register activity here I'm going to say find whereby ID in the parentheses I can say r dot id dot and it is btn register now once user click on that we have to create the click event listener we can say btn sign up dot set on click listener in the parentheses I can say new on click listener okay so I'm going to use start activity method as the argument I'm going to pass in new intent for the new intent we have to provide arguments first one is the current context which is main activity dot this and the destination activity which is register activity dot class okay start activity now I can go back to my application let's run it out I'm going to click on this register button now our register activity is here I can enter my email ashane at gmail.com and some password it's enter ashane dollar one two three again click create account okay registration is completed we got the message now if we go to firebase console and let's refresh this here our new user is created okay guys that is it for this video so it is up to you to customize this process then you can redirect this current page to another activity before ending the video uh, I'll forget to change this text registration is fail in the else statement because if it is successful this is going to execute and if this is fair this message should be visible then that's it and I see you in the next video thank you very much